On this final day of Black History Month, we are honoring a San Antonio man who has dedicated his entire life to pushing for equal rights in the Alamo City. Digital journalist Nia Wesley, Wesley rather, takes us back in time for our series, Black History 210. You must know your history. A look back at a time that was not that long ago. San Antonio was like most Southern places, it was still segregated. Reverend Clarence Littlefield basically spent his entire life in San Antonio, and he's seen many versions of the city we all know and love. At that time, they didn't call us Negroes. They said colored people. A life detour landed him here. Uh, my mom deceased when I was going on about the age of three and my dad deceased when I was going on about the age of five. Originally born in Galveston, Littlefield's aunt took him in and raised him here in the Alamo City. This is where I get my education. This is where I left and served my country. And the city's west side became home for a young C.J. Littlefield, who got involved in civil rights efforts well before he could even fathom the issues at hand. At that time, we paid our little dime and everything, and we just were so elated about going in swimming. We had no idea, thought of nothing, that we were, at that present time, making history. Littlefield and a group of African-American kids were brought to the all-white pool by the NAACP on its first day, serving patrons of all colors. We rode bikes all the way from the west side of the city over into the east side because that was the only place that we could go swimming. In high school, he joined San Antonio's SNCC, or the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. The group would hold sit-ins at all white institutions in protest for integration. They would sometimes, you know, people would try to provoke you. They would call your names, you know, the N-word and everything like that. He went on to break barriers in San Antonio as the first black president and director for multiple labor unions throughout his career as an Air Force aviation technician. Today, he hopes young folks will catch the baton and keep it moving. Just as someone taking their hand and reach back to pass the baton to you, be likewise. Pass that baton on. Nia Wesley, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.